All right, we just got back from Tennessee. Miles Star just brought the banana back, and that's good because we have a job this morning. We got a call for a truck that's buried in out to Sand Hollow. He kind of backed up to the lake, and he's stuck in the mud. We got to go get him out. The Morver is still with Skeeter and Trevor, so we we've got the banana and we've got the tangerine. So we're loading up to do that. It's not humid anymore. We're back out west where it's not humid, so I'm not about to die and it's okay, but it's still hot. It's probably like 85, 90 degrees this morning, but we're gonna get the job done. So we got Ethan Wayne here. He's a good friend of ours. We've been on his channel. We did a little yeah. that podcast. He's just coming in to visit. He doesn't even know it, but I just invited him to come on this job. Let's go yeah. do this. We're going on a recovery with Matt. I got Lizzie and Caleb with me. Yeah, we're gonna head out to San Hollow and it's a mud job and we haven't had one of those in a while, so it'll be fun and interesting. like you got it in there pretty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> I went to launch the skis and uh, on my way out just started spinning, just started going deeper and deeper. Just got myself in a bigger mess than what I anticipated. Then it turns out my 4x4 isn't working so that, t that tire's on its axle, it's not even hitting the floor anymore so. a winch to one side with the snatch block and then that one's going to be doing small kinetic tugs. Okay, Let's see if that works. Right, so when a vehicle is in the mud like this, especially one this heavy, um, kinetic energy you should never try to try to do that. Um, there's been people hurt and killed, in fact recently, from a truck being stuck in mud like this and they were trying to do a snatch recovery on it. So, we're, so to break the suction, you're going to have to do a long steady pull to make that happen. So that's why we're hooking the winch up to it, we've got it on a snatch. So. We're gonna be effectively doubling our pulling power. So there's no way that the, the Jeep is strong enough to do this by itself. So we're gonna bury it to give it the best chance we have. That'll give me the best chance um, of pulling. Okay, Lizzie, come over here. We're gonna be putting on, we'll do a steady pull, see if we can break the suction. And then if, if it becomes advantageous, he'll start doing bumps. Um, put a little bit more energy into it. Go ahead and jump in there. Okay, are you in four low? Yeah. They put it in low range? Yes. Like low gear? Okay. Um, turn your wheel slightly that way. Tiny amount of gas.
How, how do you take these caps off? Do you got the tools to take the caps off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pull the cap off. Hold on. Because you're not in four wheel drive right now. It doesn't engage either way, locked or unlocked. That's yeah, the problem. They just pry off. So, they just pry off. This is locked. See? That's locked. See if it'll lock. Push it. Okay, locked. go ahead and start it again, Lizzie. They do the same thing. Put it in gear. Alright, we've only got rear wheel drive. This is worse than I thought. Just, uh, just a steady pull with as much traction as you can give me. Okay. Like. Not, not nothing crazy, in. just nice and steady. It's gonna dig in. That's okay. Just, just slowly, slowly fish. Okay. Back and forth. Fish and trap. Alright, that could have gone a lot worse. They have gone worse. Are you worried about getting out of here? Like back to the road? Uh, not today. Why? <laughs> oh, just... oh we, yeah. Alright. Alright, here you go. Here's your shirt. Oh, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> you want me to put it somewhere? Yeah, maybe get it to my wife over there. Okay. Thank you. So we got a call for a truck that is stuck and broke down. I'm pretty sure it's dead up on the Mesa out of Apple Valley, halfway in between Apple Valley and Grafton. So we're going to head up there, see if we can get it out. If you noticed, we are not in the Morbear or Banana. We are in the tow truck. Trevor's behind the wheel. We got Skeeter in the back. We also got the Morbear on the back because that's what we're going to need. And then we're going to pull the truck back to the road and load it up on the rollback. If this light ever turns green. Yeah. We've been waiting for this light for like three minutes. <clears throat> hey, it finally turned green. <laughs> anyway, it's been raining all day last night and today, so it's going to be a muddy mess. Hopefully we don't slide off the road. We've heard the road was a river earlier today, so we're going to see how this goes. And it's going to be like we're back in Tennessee, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Follow along for the ride. Here, Trevor. Thanks, Lizzie. We made it to the Little Creek Station and now we're filling up the more of air so we don't run out. We're about halfway full, but we're gonna fill up just for safety and get back on the road. Where did you learn such a thing from? Filling up just in case? My dad. <laughs> <laughs> because he hung out with Matt as a kid too. <laughs> so he knows. So we just got off the highway and now we're going to unload the more air. Good thing I brought my rain jacket because it is now raining. So this is going to be even more lovely. Good thing I have anyway. my trash bag for my rain jacket. <laughs> yeah. Let's get going. So the customer showed us some footage from, was it earlier today? I think so. Yeah. It was just a river running down here. So it's dried up a little bit, but it's it's not going to make it any less muddy for us. And it's raining right now, so that makes it even brighter.
I was wanting to get a little muddy today. Yeah. Well, sorry, folks. The promise of mud will not. I had garbage bags for my legs and feet and stuff. <laughs> Let's get out and look at it. Look at it. You have a key for it? No start. Probably a fuel pump. This won't run, huh? Nope. No worky, Dodge. Crank, but no start. Yeah. That's how we're gonna do it. Skeeter. That's how we're gonna do it. If you give it a good tug and Skeeter doesn't panic, you can roll it right back. been a couple years since I've been out here and they have graveled all of these roads a lot of mountain bike trails are out here and people used to get stuck all the time I was wondering why we hadn't been getting phone calls yeah now, but now we know why super nice yeah other than the washboard yeah shackles are so nice I can undo it and do it up one hand That's awesome. that ain't going nowhere all right so we got the truck loaded up Trevor and Skeeter are gonna drop it off at color country auto and I'm gonna drive the more of air home this road was supposed to be super muddy and like horrible to drive on and we were gonna be doing donuts the whole time but it was a nice gravel road and so it was wet but it wasn't horrible and so it got the job done it wasn't too bad we thought it was gonna be like crazy through ruts and lakes and rivers all the water was pretty much gone by the time we got there thanks for watching I do wrong. <laughs> Must have got locked or something. Girl power. <laughs> <laughs> 